Hi everybody, this is Laura with Crazy Cool Cakes. I'm coming to you with another awesome tutorial on how to add a little bit of bling and introduce a little bit more wow factor into your cakes. Hopefully you have already seen our tutorial on how to create a quilt pattern on cakes. So this cake that I have here is a baby reveal cake. And as you can see, it's very beautiful. It's all white and it has a lot of silver and what the tutorial is going to be about today is how to add drag gaze to your cakes and specifically to your quilt pattern. So this uh, cake, hopefully, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's very shimmery. So I've gone ahead and added pearl shimmer to the entire cake before I add my drag gaze. Uh, many of you are very familiar with drag gaze. These are the kind that I like to use on this size quilt. These are silver dry gaze and the size of each one is six millimeters. And so this is what we're gonna be using today. This is where I purchased them, but of course there are hundreds and hundreds of online websites that sell dry gaze that you can use. So all you're gonna need, of course, is some silver dry gaze and you will need some royal icing, okay? There are a lot of uh, recipes on royal icing and they're all pretty much the same. For this size, dry gay, which is six millimeters, I'm going to use a size four tip. And so you can see the opening of the tip is pretty small and we're just gonna pipe a very small dot for each dry gay, okay? So to get started, I'm just going to, to avoid a mess, I just like to pour a few dry gays into the lid of my bottle. Okay, I have them handy. And where I want to add a dry gay is at every intersection where the lines meet and also at the top of my quilt pattern. If you saw the tutorial on how to create a quilt pattern, you'll know that your line stops at the very edge of the tier. Okay, so I'm actually going to start on the bottom tier and I will add silver dry gaze. The reason I already have my plaque and my bow here is because I didn't want to add dry gaze where they're not needed and so that they're not in the way. Okay, so I went ahead and added any decorations that I needed to on the cake first. Another thing you might want to have handy is a little damp paper towel because you want to constantly be cleaning the tip of your piping bag because the royal icing dries very quickly and you don't want to have you know big giant chunks of royal icing on your tip while you're working. So constantly be cleaning your tip. So I grab one drag A in my hand and I'm going to just pipe one small dot of royal icing. And it does not need to be big at all, okay? That's about all you need. And then you just place your drag A right on the royal icing like that. Okay, let's do another one. So like I said, this is a very easy, easy way to really spruce up your cakes and make them look very, very beautiful. You can also find dry gays in gold, bronze. They have them pretty much in every color you can think of. But of course, to make cakes look very classy and elegant, especially for a themed cake like this one, I love the way the silver dry gays look. And these dry gays also come in many, many sizes. You can find them much smaller than these, and you can find them a lot bigger than these also. If you are adding dry gays to a cake that is not white, that is another color, I would of course recommend to color your icing the same color as the background. So for example, if this cake were black, then I would be using black royal icing because you don't want to see the royal icing behind the dry gang. The great thing is this cake is white, so then you cannot see the royal icing behind the dry gang. And if your royal icing is a, a nice, uh, pretty dry consistency, it will dry very, very quickly. And as you can see, once you get in the flow of things and you start working very quickly, you can get an entire cake done in no time at all.
If you like this quilt pattern and you haven't checked out the tutorial, please do so. You'll see just how easy it is. You can create lots of different quilt patterns and quilt designs. Almost done with the entire first row of draggings. And of course, you do want to add draggings where the lines intersect where they are visible. So I'm just going to add one there. And one more here. This will be a tight squeeze, but hopefully I can fit my fingers in there. There okay, so there's the entire first row. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the entire cake for you all. And we will speed up the video right about here. Alright guys, so there is the entire bottom tier. Look how beautiful that looks. I love it. So, so beautiful. I love dragues. Easy way to make your cakes look extra, extra pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do the entire top tier now. And that way you all can take a look at how it looks. Alright guys, so there is the entire two-tier cake full of beautiful silver dry gaze. That's crazy cool. It is pretty cool. I love it. I hope you guys like it. So again, check out our tutorial on the quilt pattern and would love to see your cakes. If you guys would like to join us on Facebook, we'd love to see your posted pictures on our wall of your beautiful quilt pattern cakes with your Dragaze. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for all of your wonderful comments. Thanks to all of our subscribers and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye-bye.